Hello, folks back at Serum. We are inside of the Wesley house. I'm inside the first room. And look who I have with me. Uh, hold hey, on a lot. Yeah, waving. We got, uh, we got the Parkers here with us. How's the day been so far, guys? Good. 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 We miss you all, obviously. But this is the very first room. Um, they've got a few different little displays about... Uh, things in here like the hymn for Christmas Day, which was written by uh, Charles Wesley. Hark how all the welkin rings glory to the King of Kings, adapted from uh, Mendelssohn cantata. And you can see there's the, um, there's the framed copy right there. Um, we've got a table down here uh, with uh, a plate representing uh, John Wesley's principles of temperance. Eat a little less than you think you desire. John Wesley quote, didn't know he said that. So that was, that's kind of neat. Um, and another piece of artwork here. I was just looking at this before I found out we were gonna be live streaming. Okay, so there's the artwork. And it is called Voyage of Faith. Um, and it represents Wesley's meetings with 26 Moravian brethren on a boat to America, whose profound joy and devotion to God sparked a pivotal moment in his life. So first room was Wesley meeting all the Moravians, being inspired by them. Wesley's principles of temperance, John Wesley for both of those, and Charles Wesley's hymn for Christmas day. I can't reach that, so can I zoom? Eh, I can't really zoom. So you have to put up with my tiny arms. Anyway, there we go. Okay. Next to the one we were just in, this is the back parlor where John Wesley sat and discussed issues with friends and visiting preachers. And uh, Ben is saying hello, or he will be after I attempt to let him in. I almost fell down the step. Don't be alarmed. Uh, this is the part where I go, how do I? Can you see if somebody can let us in? Uh, yes, because I can't figure out the door. Okay, stand by friends. I need to figure out how to let people in. Let me see if I can find our, the folks that were here. So, just saw two rooms in the downstairs level. Hey, have you guys seen our tour guide? Um, we have friends that have showed up at the door and they're trying to get in. The tour guide? I think I'm not. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, that's the next group. Okay, we're almost finished. We're going well, to... it might so not be the full six. next group. I just know that it was Ben. Oh, okay. 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 Well, friends, we're on the second floor oh, now. Um, it's hard to pass people on these stairs, especially where they've been. We've got a few more uh, artifacts and, and um, artistic representations. There's a standing on knowledge. Uh, which represents the prayer books that John Wesley acquired throughout his travels. Um, that is back there. We also have um, a mock Bible with a portrait of John Wesley that was inspired by the quote, in all cases the church is to be judged by the scripture, not the scripture by the church. And we've got a representation of John Wesley's Medal of Honor. This is an artistic piece. Oh, and I have just discovered 
some more information. So they tell us about the clergyman outfit, which you guys can see here. We've got the stock and pendant band. That's the thing that looks kind of like a bow up at the neck. Um, the gown, obviously, which looks like our modern robes. Uh, the shoes should be around here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, but uh, they look like this. Um, and there's a three-cornered hat. I don't know if you guys can see it in the chair over there. Um, there's also drawers and breeches. So drawers are worn under the breeches. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but this chair right here is the, uh, the study chair of John Wesley. Okay. A set of spectacles right there. And this, sorry, I just whipped around. This is the study. Okay. John did mention that he, uh, our John, did mention that he got a lot of pictures. And Ben is getting some 360 photos for you guys as well. So you'll be able to zoom in on anything that I haven't explicitly pointed out. Finishing up in this room here. I can't believe John Wesley didn't have the collective work of John Wesley. That would be my husband making that commentary. What kind of Methodist was he? Come in, come in. You can see John Wesley's study chair in there. Yeah. There's a oh, the here's a picture of uh, Charles Wesley tell me what that is. in the hallway. Oh, and another door here. More artistic representations. Uh, the John Wesley portrait right there. I think that says S. Wesley's for Susanna. Another John Wesley, Samuel Wesley, father. Oh no, you're fine. This is the Reverend John Fletcher. This is a tallow candle. It's made from animal fat, which is cheaper than beeswax. but evidently we are in John Wesley's bedroom. He evidently got up at 4 a.m. every morning and went to bed at 9 p.m. And he insists that everybody that lived under, lived under his roof did too. Uh, it's probable that Wesley died in this room on March 2nd, 1791, age 87, breathing his last words. The best of all is God is with us. So this is John Wesley's bedroom. There's his bed. The best of all is God is with us. Okay, everyone, we pick this stop coming down, please. We're moving out to the graveyard. Okay, and just get the Bible here, and then I am told that we need to go. This is the covenant prayer. Fun fact. There's actually a guy from the North Carolina conference um, who made that into a song. Uh, his name is Jay Locklear. Ben and I used to go to church with him. Ben worked with him. So look it up. We, we were part of a group where some people had COVID and some people didn't. So we're all just being careful. I think so. I think we're being told to come down. Okay. So... Sorry, impromptu sing along. Thank 
you. You're welcome. Okay, we're on our way to um, we're on our way to the grave of John Wesley. Okay, yes, we've we've lost a few members of our of our group and so I think we're just gathering around the Wesley statue, um, which this is the back of. I posted in the chat for you guys. And there are a number of pictures that um, John has taken, which will be arriving in this chat. There are a number of pictures that Ben has taken, which will be part of that shared album that you guys have seen or you guys Okay. All right. We got some direction from Steve that we should go inside and through the chapel to see the grave. So. Well, yes and no. I spent a good deal of time with this grave. Did you go to the grave? Well, you do. Oh, okay. I mean, good. 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 So the grave is this way? Yes. yes. Yeah. Nobody else was okay. there, so it was like the first time that I saw this grave. Hey, Parkers. I know. I'm such a nerd. It was a moment. I think we're going through this way. I was here on Tuesday. I think we're, go I think we're going through this way. Sorry, I'm yelling, guys. But um, I had, I had the morning, I had the entire back here going, yeah, but I just had And look who else is out and about. Yep, I was gonna say, it's good. It's good we got Janine and Martin online. And look at Paul, all upright and telling people. <laughs> yeah. Um, we we're about to take him to the grave. One question, how do we get to the grave? <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. I didn't realize he was behind. Second group, please. Make sure you stay at the chapel. Okay. just up the stairs in the and uh, that's the uh, includes the original foundry benches that were the first Methodist. Wow! And then just outside and around to the back is the tomb. Beautiful. Thank you, Paul. Sure. Okay. Th well, I'm waiting for Dan. I got, I got a question here. Let me find it. I should have one last one. Uh. Oh, were you talking about, um... Well, that was the guess of, of the two or three of us that were just avoiding and wondering. I think it is. I think it was, I think it was an electrical device that we used. We did a lot of experimentation with electricity. Uh-huh. Oh, Versus Roger, can you, sh can you show our friends at home? We're talking about this, which Benjamin was in the room with the study chair. Huh. Benjamin Franklin, I think you know, right. one of those people in right. American history who was interested in electricity and was key and all of that. Right. But once they felt that there were really positive health benefits that were related to electricity, huh. they did a lot of experiments. So there's a bit of his primitive physics about electricity. Okay. 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 Second group, if you want to come around with me, please. Okay. Well, Thanks, Paul. <laughs> we're being summoned. We do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay. we're gonna. We're. This is the Foundry Chapel. And sorry, we'll just do a quick video, and we'll be right down. This is the Foundry Chapel which the, has the original benches of this chapel. So the very first Methodists sat in these benches right here. 
you can see that there's actually some inscriptions. This old foundry seat was presented by the Reverend Alan Rees, Superintendent Minister of Wesley's Chapel, City Road, to the Reverend James Travis, President of the Primitive Methodist Conference, 1892 to 3. I don't know, but I See right, see, right here, it says from the old foundry. Got an, a pipe organ that belonged to Charles Wesley here. Bible, a baptismal font. Another Bible. Kneeling rail. And, oh, some covenants. Now we're going to go, we got a little bit of stained glass here. Now we're going to go outside to the grave. Thank you for your patience. All right. Which way to the grave? Going into the left. Forward and to the left. Forward and to the left. Thank you. Sorry, I'm live streaming this for our folks that, that uh, are sick of, at Serum. Sorry, you got to look at the graveyard? Okay. Oh, really? And this is me going, which one is it? We've got a few graves here, actually. For, keep going? Okay. I'm being told to keep going. This is a graveyard for a few different people. And I think I found it. So in case you didn't get a good view, this is... This is a, the graveyard that we're in. There's two gentlemen over there um, have been super, super helpful for us, telling us where to go and what to see. And here it is, guys. This is the tomb of John Wesley, 1703 to 1791. I'm gonna give you guys a view around. Oh, there's an inscription. To the memory of the Venerable John Wesley, AM. I think that's for his master's degree. Late fellow of Lincoln College, Oxford. This great light arose by the singular providence of God to enlighten these nations and to revive, enforce, and defend the pure apostolical doctrines and practices of the primitive church, which he continued to do both by his writings and his labors, for more than half a century, and to his inexpressible joy, not only beholding their influence extending and their efficacy witnessed in the hearts and lives of many thousands, as well in the Western world as in these kingdoms, but also far above all human power of expectation, lived to, to see provision made by the singular grace of God for their continuance and establishment to the joy of future generations. Reader, if thou art constrained to... Bless the instrument, give God the glory. After having languished a few days, he at length finished his course and life together, gloriously triumphing over death, March 2nd, um, A.D. 1791, in the 88th year of his age. Also, Mrs. Martha Hall, sister of John Wesley, buried here, 1706 to 1791. In this vault, with the remains of the Reverend Mr. Wesley, are deposited those of the following ministers. Okay, so there's this is a shared grave. Mr. Duncan Wright, Reverend John Richardson, Mr. John Merlin, Reverend Walter Griffith, uh, and Reverend Thomas Olivers, corrector of the, of the press of Mr. Wesley, author of the hymn, The God of Abraham Praise, and the tune called Helmsley. So, fun fact. 
But yeah, guys, this is, as they say, the grateful record of the place made sacred by the mortal remains of the venerable and apostolic Wesley, first erected A.D. 1791. Yay for being taught how to read Roman numerals. And uh, I think we're going to the cha back to the chapel now, and this is the back of it. You can you might recognize the stained glass. You. You, there's inscriptions on the benches, or at least on the back one, and there's a um, there's an organ, John, uh, Charles Wesley's organs in the back left corner. <laughs> okay, guys, we might. I'm going to take you back into the chapel, and I'm just going to do a one little walkabout before before we're doing lunch. So this is the main chapel. And I think that the feed might have cut out a little bit earlier when um, when Paul was talking, but he was talking about how ornate this chapel is compared um, to what was originally here. Um, ship mass donated by King George. And, uh, and so there, it was much, simpler before you got all of this marble. One thing to remember is that Methodism wasn't a big church when it started. And in fact, they, like this pulpit, Paul was saying, this is really just a preaching house. So you just hear, came here to hear. You didn't necessarily come here for sacraments. That took place at the Anglican churches. Um, but yeah, sorry, almost forgot a little bit more. So all these busts and things weren't here. Methodism has pretty humble roots and that's important to remember. I think that humility in general is important to remember as a Christian. Sometimes history helps us remember back before all of this. But anyway, I think we're going to end here so I can catch up with this group for lunch, but thanks for joining. Um, John and Ben will be, or John will post pictures in the chat. Ben is posting stuff in the shared album um, for you guys to enjoy, especially for the museum downstairs. And yeah, we'll, um, I will message when we are back online for the Methodist walk, um, which Paul will be leading. <laughs>